the Karnataka government announced its intention to amend the recently implemented Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita BNS, Bharatiya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita BNSS, and Bharatiya Sakshaya Adhidiyam BSA. Law and Parliamentary Affairs Minister H.K. Patel stated that the state would introduce 23 to 25 amendments before these laws are fully implemented in Karnataka. We are uh, planning to make, uh, um, there are 23 points and uh, um, definitely more than a dozen of amendments and some additional things which we are also proposing to do under uh, two, uh, 254, Article 254, 7th Schedule, 3rd List and uh, Entry 1, 2, which gives us the empowerment to the states to make amendments and additions. We are uh, trying to do all those things. Karnataka Home Minister G. Parameshwara announced that the state government would deliberate on a new legal policy proposed by Law Minister H. K. Patil during the cabinet meeting. Speaking at Vidhana Sauda, Parameshwara emphasized the need for accessible justice in rural areas, aiming to refine and strengthen local case resolution systems presided over by district and taluk level judges. He clarified that there would be no discussions on the new criminal laws introduced by the center and any required amendments would be communicated to the union government. No, see, our law minister has been, uh, uh, you know, trying to bring in some new law policy in the state, wherein the justice will be available to a common man easily at the village level, uh, at the taluka level, even today, a common man who cannot afford to hire an advocate, uh, you know, it, it's so difficult it is. I mean, they, they face a lot of problems. They come to us, uh, MLAs, MPs, ministers, uh, you know, seeking for justice. It is with that background, uh, our law minister is trying to bring in a new policy where a common man will be benefited. And uh, in view of the new laws, of course, there is no uh, contradictions with the new laws which uh, uh, the government of India has enacted. Uh, those are different. Those are uh, uh, some small changes where uh, uh, the procedurally it will be easy to handle. And that, that th those laws are different. Our policy of the law in the state is different. The three new criminal laws which came into effect on July 1st have sparked controversy and prompted the Karnataka government to seek changes. The amendments are based on feedback provided by the state to the centre last year following recommendations from an expert committee formed to review the bills. Key proposed changes include amending provisions under the BNS and other laws that criminalise hunger strikes and revising the BSA's allowance of 90 days of police custody, which has been criticized as a violation of human rights. Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya had previously communicated these concerns to Union Home Minister Amit Shah in October last year, suggesting 23 changes to the BNS, BNSS and BSA bills. The proposed amendments aim to safeguard human rights and ensure fair legal practices. In addition to the legal amendments, the Karnataka's State Cabinet approved several significant development projects and relief measures.